Hi everyone. Uh, this is our uh, last lecture on the electrical measurement and instrumentation. Uh, in this uh, lecture, in this presentation, we will be studying the analog instruments and digital instruments and the phenomena that are related to these instruments. So this is basically an introductory uh, presentation and lecture about uh, these instruments so far we have already studied many analog instruments uh, some of which includes these uh, bridges and multimeter ohmmeter uh, voltmeter m meter and the uh, integrating instruments such as the power and energy meters uh, in this uh, lecture, we will be studying about the classification of those uh, instrument uh, instruments as well as uh, studying some other uh, instruments uh, uh, like uh, the CRT cathode ray tube, the oscilloscopes and oscillators etc. And we will also know about some digital phenomena such as analog to digital conversion, the sampling theorem and sampling phenomena, quantization, uh, these are used for the uh, digital uh, instrumentation. Uh, also, digital to analog conversion uh, will be studied in this lecture. So let's dig in. Uh, analog ins uh, instruments are those instruments in which the data that is uh, being recorded or analyzed uh, is continuous on the uh, y-axis. So this uh, this uh, uh, this uh, definition is also valid for analog signals. So any signal in which the y uh, component is having infinite values and uh, even if this this goes from zero to one and then from one to minus one, but between this one and minus one we have infinite number of sections so infinite sections makes makes it an analog data okay so analog instrument would be that in which we can take such type of uh, readings so uh, analog instrument are classified in on the basis of the me current measurement uh, which makes it uh, uh, the direct current instrument analog and the uh, AC and DC instrument combinedly. Uh, based uh, on the classification of methods, we are having direct instrument and indirect, which says that it is a comparison type instrument. So, these direct instruments for these uh, galvanometer, M meter, etc., uh, and this comparison were uh, uh, like the potentiometer, etc. Okay, classification based on the reading, so we had NTA indicating in which the current present instantaneous reading is shown, the recording in which the data is recorded uh, on some uh, page or paper etc. Just like the ECG, electric, uh, electrocardiograph uh, or uh, MRI uh, or something like integrating instrument uh, may include the uh, integrating instrument may include the energy meter and watt meter etc. So these indicating instrument can be electromechanical or electronic instruments but these both things would be the analog instrument. Okay, uh, these uh, instruments are simple, these are not complex but use more power because electronic devices are drawn, uh, driven with um, some very low power but uh, mechanical, electromechanical require more power. The calculation is easy in digital uh, because analogs have infinite levels of measurement so you cannot save these all data between uh, data between the 0 and 1 even. So the storage is also a problem in analog instruments. So we must move to digital instrumentation because in analog a needle can show a correct reading only if we see uh, at the top to avoid this parallax. Uh, even these 
divisions on these um, mini scales require more and more observational skills to get good reading so the reading is uh, accurate accurate because it is not leveled but you cannot get it with more accuracy because uh, the measurement techniques are better in digital okay so let's move towards the digital instrumentation so digital instrumentation uh, represent uh, values in the form of digits numbers which are um, then these instruments are known as digital so the uh, data is fed into the instrument using a transducer which converts one type of energy to another mostly it converts the uh, data to electrical energy so this is um, about the transducer and then this electrical energy is then modeled in some signal shaper etc and then it is displayed so we have this phenomena for the uh, digital instrumentation that the data is fed uh, through transducer to the system and then displayed so the accuracy of digital uh, electronic instruments is very high because uh, the reading that is calibrated once will always be the same uh, because uh, the, there is no needle etc in it Okay, the digital instrument consists of sensitive elements which are easily uh, re reacted with the surrounding temperature and humidity. So this makes these uh, instruments sensitive and more sensitive plus good reader uh, is a good instrument. More sensitive, so sensitivity is high and reading is easy. So this makes it a good instrument. Okay, the input impedance of digital is very high and high input impedance means that it will require less power because uh, if the resistance at the input is very high then the voltage signals are not grounded easily. If the resistance is low then the signals are grounded easily and we do not have more voltage for calculations. Okay, the digital instruments are less portable. Uh, which is nowadays wrong because it is more portable as well the cost of the instrument is high which is uh, not uh, the case for many instrument but some instrument indeed they are uh, very expensive uh, for example the quanti quantizer circuits etc or the uh, ADCs so some things are uh, many things are even expensive similarly processors and microcontrollers are expensive okay the instrument is free from parallax error because we do not have any needle in it parallax means that looking into the needle from the wrong angle okay so digital to analog conversion uh, requires some steps uh, these steps include the conversion of uh, y-axis reading with respect to x-axis reading x-axis position so let's say we are having something like this so we will uh, first uh, divide this thing this x-axis and then we will get these samples on these x-axis and later on uh, for digitizing these reading we will level these things here and we will have something like this so what's in this process in this process uh, we are having sampling on the x-axis and quantizing on the y-axis uh, let's uh, deal these things uh, separately what is sampling and what is quantization so this is in the process of analog to digital conversion uh, sampling is the process in which the continuous information of the channel uh, is taken like instances so we take some pictures of the reading so let's say a ball is uh, moving in this direction someone has kicked a football and it is moving in that direction and our camera can take let's say two pictures in one second so let's say the ball traveled 
uh, in 10 second to this uh, goal so 10 seconds and our camera can take uh, two picture in one second so one second two three four five six seven eight nine and ten so first picture will be taken here then here then here then here then here then here so we can take uh, one second will have two pictures so 10 seconds will have 20 pictures so we can take 20 pictures of this data so this uh, process is known as uh, sampling uh, there are some uh, phenomena related to sampling, uh, governing sampling. Uh, the first one is that the sampling must be higher than the highest frequency that we are dealing. So let's say if our wave is like this and we take one sample, uh, so a wave is like this and we take one sample here and then other sample here. So if we uh, draw this uh, 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 bars for it so our data would look like this thing so if we redraw this data what will happen this draw will be drawn like this so originally it was like this but now it is a straight line so this phenomena means that we should increase the rate of sampling so that our reconstruction can be uh, can have resemblance with the, with the input data so if we take one sample here other here, third here, fourth, fifth, sixth. Then, if we redraw these dumbbells like this, these lollipops, so what will happen? First will be here, second here, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. So, if we redraw it like this, now this resembles with the original wave. So, this whole scenario is uh, summarized by. Uh, sampling theorem uh, called the Nyquist criteria and Nyquist criteria says that the sampling frequency the speed of taking pictures must be greater than two times of the frequency in which we are dealing so let's say we are having two waves uh, such that one wave is cos uh, 2t and the other is sine of 5t so here this thing is omega equal to 2 and here it is omega is equal to 5 so our sampling frequency omega s must be equal to 10 so only then we can get the good pictures of the whole scenario and then reconstruct it when the sampling is done below the threshold this analyzers uh, uh, are created and this is an analyzer uh, which is created from the original wave but is not like the original wave so these are the erroneous data uh, driven graphs okay uh, quantization on the other hand is the process of mapping the continuous y-axis feed uh, to some uh, finite values so let's say we are having infinite values on the y-axis and then we take pictures of it like here and here and here and then these pictures are then given some levels so this becomes the uh, quantized wave so we are having some let's say here we are having one two three four five five levels here and six seven eight nine and ten so total ten levels uh, is um, used for converting these infinite numbers of data points to be represented so this process is known as quantization uh, and let's say we are having this wave and we take one point here one point here and one point here and our quantization levels are this and this and this so if we draw one level here and the other here and other here so this level is not uh, on the line but this one is on the quantized line this one is below the quantized line so this below and above quantized line uh, introduces some error in the data in the digital data this uh, data is uh, this error is known as the quantization error the more we have levels in our uh, data the lesser this error becomes so we should have more and more levels but this will increase the amount of memory to be used to save this data so quantization error uh, is inverse